Hello everyone and welcome to another business intelligence tip. This is Rich Benningson from Dashboard Gear and today we're going to be talking about launching SQL reporting services reports from a URL. Now you might ask why you'd want to do that. Well there's a number of scenarios where uh, you might not want to launch them in a normal way. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, go on over to my SQL reporting services. Now, as you recall in past sessions, we talked about the report manager, which is a, you know, a web portal that is used to manage the different reports. And when you run a report, you just click on it and it launches the report. Now in past sessions, I've told you that, you know, each report is really just a URL. So if I come up here and I copy out this uh, URL and go over to a, a web browser and I type in my, uh, URL and put that in. I guess I didn't need to type HTTP. I already had that there. We will uh, run that. It will run, you know, go right to that report. Now, when you run a report inside Re Report Manager, what it's actually doing is calling another URL, which is a service that's running called the Report Server. Um, and then inside of that, it's actually running another piece called the Report Viewer. Uh, which is the piece that actually is displaying the report down here. Now, there are arguments that you can use on both the report viewer portion as well as the report server portion. So um, you can run a report just by typing in the URL like I did here. And then right on, on this particular item, I can type question mark and do things like uh, year equals 2011 will do instead of 2010 you'll notice my report has 2010 in it but if i click 2011 it will run and it'll run the report for 2011. so what you can do is actually pass it any parameter you use your parameter name and then the value that you'd like so if i'd like to run this let's say for july of 2011 i can say and period equals seven I know my parameter for month I called period. So you do have to know the parameter names. But when I run that, now it'll run it for July of 2011. So that's just using a simple report manager URL. But now if you want to get a little bit more fine grained control than that, you can pass arguments to either the um, report like content window, the report viewer, or to the report server itself. Now, how you would do that is instead of calling the report manager URL like you have here, what instead you would do is you would call the report server URL. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and just do a new new URL and I'll just start typing in um, RB Surface Book 2 instead of reports, it's report server. Um, and then what you do is you put question mark. So that basically is going to launch the report server. Then you put the path to the report that you want to do. So I'll just say slash BBG, that's the folder that it's in, slash HR, um, and you put percent 20 for spaces. So I'll say HR reports, and then I'll do a slash BBG, and then percent 20, HR, percent 20, uh, Send 20 again. I got a lot of spaces. I should have picked a shorter uh, uh, report here, dashboard. So now when I run this, it will run the report, but notice it's not inside report manager. It's just running it all by itself as its whole report. So that's using the report viewer to do all of this, but it's also using the report server. Now the arguments you can pass from here are all kinds. Of, I can pass arguments specifically to the report viewer. So I could say something like, um, you know, I can I can add additional arguments just like I did before for the parameter. So I could say company equals one, and it would run the report for company is equal to one. So when I look here, I got company is equal to one. Now, so you can pass parameters. Now, a common question on the parameters I get is if I want to pass more than one value. So like if I want company one and company two, so notice there's different companies here. If I want to run the report for both of them. 
um, a common mistake that people make is to put like commas here. They'll say company equals one, comma two. How you actually do it is just pass the company parameter again. So I could just say company equals two. So that'd be company equals one and company equals two. So if I go ahead and I run that, now it'll run it and my parameters that are selected are one and two. So to pass parameters, you just pass for the parameter name and then equals the value. Simple as that. Now there's all kinds of arguments you can use to control the look of this as well dynamically. So I could say something like, I don't wanna show the toolbar up there. So I'll just say, and there's a set of arguments that are around the report container and you prefix those that with an RC uh, in there. So I could say, and toolbar equals false. When I run that, it's gonna get rid of the toolbar up here and so it's just the report. So maybe I have my own portal or I have some kind of web page I wanna embed this in. Um, you can run this and just embed a report right inside there. So you could create an iframe or something like that for those of you that are familiar with um, you know, web development. Um, now there, besides the report viewer, formats, there's the report server arguments that you can have, which controls all kinds of output. The one I use the most on there is I'll say and RS colon. So that means it's a report server argument is format. And so maybe on this report, instead of a HTML page, like I'm showing you here, I want that to come out as a PDF or XLS for an XML or an Excel file. Uh, you just say report uh, RS format equals PDF, then you'll notice down below here, it generated the PDF file. I can open that up. So now it generated a PDF of that report. So rather than, you know, uh, you can just embed these URLs using any kind of web technology, or if you want to create a re uh, program using some kind of program tool, you can call that URL and grab the results that way. So a very powerful tool where I use this often with customers is they want a facility maybe to create a CSV file of the output. So I'll just save a query inside of a report uh, as an output and then just put the argument of CSV and that allows uh, you know users to just generate a CSV whenever they want it on, on data without having to have any other kind of tool or anything like that that you can go with. And so that would just be the format equals CSV uh, on the argument. Now, how do you know what all these arguments are? Well, there's a, a page, if you search it out on the web under Microsoft, there's a, a URL, URL access parameter reference for SQL reporting services. And what you're gonna see in here is the viewer commands, those RC ones that I mentioned, and it's gonna give you the different options you have uh, for doing that in there. And then if I go down below, you'll get to the report server commands, the RS commands. So the things I showed you around format and so forth. And as you can see, there's all kinds of arguments in here uh, that you can do besides format. So whether you're just trying to get specific parts of the page and so forth uh, are all within here. So really that's all I wanted to show you today. But if um, as as you go through it, uh, if you do have other suggestions or anything like that, feel free to email us at info at dashboardgear.com. We'd love to show you new topics, but hopefully you found today's uh, helpful. Like I said, reporting services is a powerful tool, not just to create reports, but you can also just use it as a generic data access tool for users. So um, by specifying some of these arguments, you can give users a tool to grab data uh, that way as well. So Thank you all for watching and we look forward to the next session with you.